Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's not going to be a collection video or a challenge video. We got a very, very important question. Is a vending machine business actually passive income? Or is it actually worth it? There's always that one person, right? That one person in the comment section that for some reason they have to be against every single thing you say. For example, you know, I get a few comments every now and then, and you know, people would be like, Oh, but I'm it, you're not making any money since you still gotta buy more product, more drinks, you gotta pay rent for the machine, you gotta spend money on gas. I've been doing business my whole life, and I would never pick a vending machine business. So today we're gonna talk about that. We're like this close, this close from hitting 200,000 subscribers. So if you haven't already, click that subscribe button and let's get into the video. All right, so again, the question of today, is a vending machine business actually passive income and is it worth it? And for everyone that doesn't know what passive income is, it's basically you making money without doing anything, if that makes sense. For example, you would think that a vending machine business is passive income since I do make money every single day. For example, right now, I'm actually making money as we talk. And just to prove it to you guys, I'm gonna pull up the app, that way you guys can see how much money I've made today so far. But also for everyone that doesn't know, I do have 11 machines on location, but this is only for eight machines. So today for eight machines, I've made $31.75. And that's with me literally doing nothing. I've been home all day and I've made $31. But also it's only 1 p.m. right now. Most of my locations close at like 8 p.m. And that's basically why you would assume that a vending machine business is passive income since every single day I'm not doing anything and I'm still making money. So if I make $80 a day with eight machines I would say with all of my 11 machines I would make about a hundred to hundred and ten dollars a day a lot of people say that vending is not passive income since you do have to put a lot of work into fixing machines you know buying machines going out and servicing the machines buying product my best location that I have right now makes a thousand dollars a month that location I have to go every seven days if it's any longer than seven days I get a phone call hey the machine is empty can you come service it? So as an example, let's take that location, right? So if I make a thousand dollars a month from that location alone, after I go and buy more product, like more drinks and snacks for the machine, that's actually only 50% of all the money. So after we buy more product, we are down to $500 a month. So what's next? Gas. That location is one hour away from where I live. So I do drive one hour over there and one hour back. It's actually only about $15 worth of gas. So now we're down to what, $485. <laughs> and for everyone that's gonna be like, oh, what about the commission? Don't you pay rent? Don't you pay like the electricity for the machine? And for everyone that didn't know this, I only pay commission in one location, which good thing it's actually not my best location. So I don't have to subtract any rent or any commission from that. All right, so we are still down to $485 dollars for one month now you guys might be like well what about the time how long does it take you to go out and service those machines so one hour drive to that location 30 minutes to refill the machines and of course one hour back home okay so if it takes me two and a half hours a week and I do go every single week of course a month that's only 10 hours so 10 hours of work a month for what like four hundred and eighty five dollars you know what let me see how much money that is every hour so four hundred eighty five dollars divided by ten hours Look at that. I'm getting paid $48.50 an hour. So for everyone that thinks that a vending machine business is not passive income, I make $48.50 a month. I mean, not a month, that'll be bad. I make $48.50 every hour running that location. And of course, that's only one location. I do have like 11 machines. But before you guys go out there and buy a machine right now, I'm not saying that every single location, every single machine is gonna make this much amount of money. I've had locations in the past that only make $15 a month. I didn't say a week, all right? I said a month. $15 a month. So of course, if you spend thousands of dollars on machines and only make $15 a month, of course, that's not worth it. Every machine's gonna be different, every location is gonna be different. But anyways, going back to the main question, is a vending machine business actually passive income? My answer is gonna be yes, I do think so. If for some reason some of you guys still think that it's not, then let me know down below why you guys think that. If it's not passive income, 
then what is? What business out there is actually passive income? It really doesn't matter what business you have, you still gotta put in some type of work. Cause look, for example, if you have a drop shipping business, even if you don't have to worry about shipping or inventory, you still gotta go on the computer, you gotta make ads, you gotta make the listings, you gotta make the website. So I'ma stick with my answer. But anyways, that's pretty much it. Again, let me know down below, what do you guys think? I basically wanted to make a quick little video since I did have to take down the other video I posted yesterday. I think that video was only public for like four hours. <laughs> I basically made a video of me getting prop money and Monopoly money, and I went out to a vending machine to go test it out and see if I could actually buy something with this. And supposedly, even if it's for entertainment purposes only, it's still against the law. And yeah, that's basically why if you guys go back to the channel, that video is not there. But anyways, before we end the video, I do have some extra clips that I filmed yesterday. I didn't want this whole video to just be me, you know, sitting down and talking to you guys. That way, you know, it doesn't get too boring. So I hope you guys do enjoy the rest of the video. Don't forget to subscribe and roll the clips. Alright guys, so right now we're actually about to head out to the barbershop location because yesterday, whenever I went to go restock the machine, I actually didn't put any milk in the machine just because it was actually all expired and I had to throw everything away. But anyways, before we leave, I was actually cleaning out my closet, which is where I do keep all my snacks, all my drinks, and pretty much everything I have. It is a mess right now, so I'm sorry. I was taking out all the empty boxes. Oh, hey, what's up? Got quite a few chips up there. I actually don't have a bunch of soda anymore. But anyways, let's go buy some milk. Let's go restock the machine and see what happens. So honestly, I got tired of going from store to store. So I'm gonna just go ahead and get all 16 bottles right here. Uh, you always gotta make sure that the expiration date is enough. So today's what, July 1st? 3rd. July 3rd? Dang. All right, what you gotta do is go to the ones at the very back. What's that, July 8th? No, that's not gonna be enough. Let's see if I can get one from the very back. Oh, July 10, not bad. I mean, I'm gonna still get it just in case I can't find anything like more. Is that enough? I mean, it's only 10. All right guys, so in the machine that I have, I normally put 16 bottles of milk in that machine, but literally every single bottle in this store, the expiration date only goes to July 10. And today is July 3rd, so I mean, it's only what, seven days, right? It's like a week. They're like all big kids over there. All they drink is milk. Yeah, they're all just big kids. I'm not really sure which one they prefer, the red one or the blue one, so I just get both. Um, but look, if you guys ever sell milk, you always want to make sure that the bottles are all the way closed because I'll show you guys once we get to the machine because I got to put the bottles upside down so sometimes they can leak and like the machine is like hella dirty. So like the factory doesn't close it right? N yeah, because that's why it's like like wet and stuff, you know? You can kind of see milk right there, you know? I thought it would just be like the sweat. I don't know what it was. Sweat? What are you going to yeah, say sweat? Yeah. But yeah, that's why whenever we go to the machine, we gotta get some cleaning supplies to clean it because uh, it's like so dirty. Hopefully I don't get copyrighted with this music, um, but like I said, we do gotta get some cleaning supplies. I don't know which one I should get though. Like, does it really matter? Cause I it's, thought you just gonna get like rags. Oh, uh, maybe just this, yeah. Cause I, gotta, I don't know if this would be enough cause it's kinda like really sticky. Cause whenever you clean machines, you gotta make sure it's good for food. I mean, it's not really touching food, so hopefully this is okay. But yeah, we got the clean supplies, we got the milk. Now let's go fill up that machine. What's that? We didn't get that. You wanna get another one? Oh, it's dripping? Yes. Dang, look at that. Oh, that one's dripping too, right? Is yeah. It? Right when I said that we gotta be careful because the bottles can drip or like leak, that's the first thing that happens. Two of them actually started leaking. Two? Yeah, it was two. She had to take out another one. So we only got nine bottles instead of ten. I think it's just those bottles because the bottles I used to get at Family Dollar, they used to not like drip that much, you know? But anyways, I'm not sure if I told you guys this, but we're not gonna be restocking the machine or collecting the money. I actually restocked the machine like three days ago, I think. All right, y'all, so we finally made it to the location, but before we go inside and put the milks inside, I always double check that they're fully closed. Just because like you guys just saw, sometimes they can leak, so I always do double check. All right, let's take a look down there. Ooh, Bill. Look, you see what I'm talking about? Like, it gets really, really dirty.
Yeah. I completely forgot to tell you when I came that I didn't put any in there. All right. But there's like 10 in there. Appreciate it, though. Yeah, you have a good one. Let me know. Yeah, I call you, man. Oh, I got, I got a new yesterday. number now. 